I grew up on the Tug River Valley there in Crum, West Virginia. Anyway, I mean, we were about 20 years behind everybody in culture and things like that. I graduated in 1975, but, you know, it was like 1955 everywhere else. Nobody knew what acid and marijuana and black beauties and stuff like that was. Our big night out on the town was getting a bootlegger and getting a, you know, a, a double cola pop bottle of moonshine. But we had this old boy named Hunky Bill. He lived up in Steptown. And he got to go to Columbus, Ohio one weekend. And he got some marijuana. I was about oh, 15 or 16 and I was sitting over there. I, I walked over to Copley's to get some lunch and I saw Hunky Bill. He was all humped up in the corner and smoke was rolling. You know, I thought he was over there hiding smoking a cigarette. And Hunky Bill said, Roger, come on over. And you know, I smoked cigarettes and he come on over and he said, "Here, man, try some of this." You know, I, I you know, everybody rolled Prince Albert back then, and Hunky Bill knew that I didn't smoke marijuana or nothing. But he said, "Smoke it like this," and I hold it in. So I took a big hit of that stuff and I held it in and I blew it out. Nothing happened. I coughed real loud and all that good stuff, but I didn't think no more of it. And I started to leave, and he said, Oh, oh, oh. He said, Here, take you another hit. I said, Man, I don't like smoking it like that. He said, Well, take you one more hit and suck on it like this. And I hold it in as long as you could. I said, Well, uh, man, okay, I will. I mean, now this ain't no marijuana, is it? He said, No, no. So, like a dummy, I took another big head off of that, and I thought it was, you know, uh, tobacco, but come to find out, you know, I held it in and all that stuff. I got dizzy, and I started high-stepping like a like a Clydesdale horse that you used to shock, and their feet got up real high. Oh, I was high on marijuana. I mean, I went back to school, and I... Ah, uh, uh, the principal found out that I mean I was acting kind of crazy. Glenn Pritchard was the principal, and he told my daddy that it was time for another beating. I mean, daddy just put a boot in my butt, and I mean he walked to me like a stepchild. But it didn't matter. I 